Aloha from my radio desk here on Molokai, Hawaii. Uh, today I just want to uh, close out the series on the uh, MLA 30 plus uh, antennas, the blue light and the uh, green light, uh, that uh, I gave some uh, reception reports that uh, you're able to see the difference. And uh, so now I'm just going to uh, close it out and give my final thoughts. So uh, here are the two uh, bias uh, uh, controller boxes uh, for the antennas. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to go over uh, that uh, everybody should be aware of and uh, uh, they should actually take a look and, and uh, uh, go ahead and make some adjustments if necessary. It, it only takes a second, it's easy to do, and uh, I'm just going to show you how I did that. So on the uh, side of the boxes you see these little uh, little indents and you can just uh, stick a small screwdriver in there and pry it open. I already got this one open and ready for us here and it just pops off. And then you get to the inside of the box here. And right there you can see the uh, blue box, that's the uh, pot. And uh, that's it's got it's for the uh, adjustment uh, for attenuation there. Uh, you can see it. Now, you can, uh, what I would do uh, is use a, a plastic screwdriver, a small plastic screwdriver, uh, and, and put it in there. Have your radio on. Uh, it, it's probably best to uh, use a, a station that uh, is coming in nice and clear. And then go ahead and put a, uh, a plastic screwdriver in there and go ahead and turn that and adjust it. And just listen by ear. Uh, I, I know some people are able to use uh, their radios, have that uh, uh, waterfall display. A lot of the SDRs do. Uh, you can watch that also if you have that. Uh, but otherwise, you're just going by ear. And uh, you can go ahead and make, uh, make the adjustment there and turn it uh, until you get uh, your best signal. Um, now, when you're turning this, the adjustment goes about a full turn, just probably just a little short. So it's not a huge adjustment, uh, but it does turn almost one full turn. Um, and uh, there's another one on the antenna box, and I'll show you that one here in a minute. Uh, but when you make that adjustment, you just pretty much lock it in. Now, is it uh, probably, it's probably best if, if these were a little more accessible and uh, you'd be able to uh, adjust them on the fly uh, a little bit more. Uh, but uh, if you find a happy medium, is probably going to be your best bet, and then uh, just keep it at that. Uh, what, what you're going to find, and what I found with, with both of these, is that the, uh, uh, the green one uh, definitely gives a stronger signal. There, there's no doubt about it. You can see it in the videos. Uh, the only video that uh, uh, showed it, it was about even, was my last uh, video when I had it on the uh, C-Crane. Uh, Skywave uh, single side bat two. Uh, that one there wasn't much difference uh, between the two. Uh, they were both coming in really strong. Where I think the green one is really going to shine is when you're trying to find those faint signals because it gives stronger signals. It's going to pick those up. I, I think that's the long and the short of it. So uh, this is this is the best way, easiest way to go ahead and make that adjustment on here. Uh, and again, just just do it by ear. So I'm going to take you out to the antennas uh, that I have uh, set up on, on my lanai. It's daytime now, and I usually don't have them out, or I only have one out uh, if I'm uh, trying to do some some listening. Um, but uh, we'll go out, and uh, I already got the box ready, and uh, I'll show you. There's a another another difference uh, between the red and the blue, uh, because if you look at these, they're they're pretty much the same. There's not much difference, and then when you, you put the power on, one's going to be red, and one is, I mean, I'm sorry, one is going to be blue, and uh, the other one is going to be green. So we'll go out, and it is a nice sunny day here on Molokai, Hawaii. And this is how I got my two uh, set up uh, when I'm using them. And if you look, the sun is going to be kind of rough here, but you can see that this one is the uh, green one, the green light, and it is a smaller diameter than this one, which is the blue light. So that, that, that's a difference right off the bat. This one is, is quite a bit bigger. So here's the box here, and, and there's just four screws that you take off, and then this pops out. This does have a uh, rubber gasket in there. You want to make sure you don't lose that. 
because uh, that is going to be your seal. As you can see, it's waterproofed in here also. And it's going to be kind of hard to see it, but it's right up on the top. Right up there is the blue pot. It looks exactly like the same uh, pot in the other box. And that's where you make your adjustment. And do it the same way. Uh, because it's going to be uh, out a little bit farther, it might be better if you have somebody else to help you. Um, and, uh, you know, they can do the turning uh, while you're doing the listening. But it kind of depends on how far you have it apart. All right, so just finishing up here. So, yes, the, uh, the green light one, uh, which from what everybody's saying is the original, uh, I got mine off of uh, Amazon. I will put the link in the description for that one. Uh, it runs right around, I can't remember if it was $44 or $49. And then the blue light one, you know, they're selling those. That, you know, there, there are so many different vendors for this. That's what makes it difficult. Uh, I, you can look on Timu, and the price ranges from, I believe it's $29 up to $40 uh, for them. But you, you just can't tell the difference until you get it. Uh, to see if you have the red light or green light version. Uh, I bought mine, uh, eBay's another source, I believe I bought mine, blue light one on eBay, and I believe it was about $30 uh, delivered and everything. So with that, it's. I have heard that the uh, blue light one, uh, I've heard some people say that's really no good, it's, it's not a good uh, antenna at all. Uh, I, I haven't found that. It, it's still, it was still much better than what I had. Uh, so if you want to, you know, save twenty dollars, it's not. It, or if you need to save twenty dollars, uh, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's still a good antenna, uh, but uh, as you notice in the videos, uh, the green light is uh, much stronger. Uh, you can just tell by the meter and tell by uh, uh, by listening to the station uh, that it comes in. Uh, it gives a better signal. Uh, all in all. So there you go. That's the final thoughts. And uh, from the, uh, my radio desk here on Molokai, Hawaii, aloha. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you like these videos.